Hey guys, it's about I'm a Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video, and it's good. It's been a while since I've done one of these where I just talk to you guys about stuff that I think, like share my point of view on things like that. So this one was suggested by my mom. Shout out to her, and it was about family, like, and it's basic. And we both added on about. It's different types of families, like, and to be honest with you, I like that subject because mostly you never know, you never know which family you have or so. Like for me, per for me honestly, I appreciate my family none, of, none whatsoever because they're like none other. My mom and dad, best parents ever, point blank. Won't trade them for the world. Yeah, we may have our ups and downs and such, but at the, it's like this. At the end of the day, they're my mom and dad. They're the ones who born me into this world. So why the heck would I want to turn my back on them? Seems stupid and just just like disrespectful and all. So no, no matter how many times he, we three always get mad at each other or whatnot, at the end of the day, we're both a family. At the end of the day, we're all a, we're a family. We fight sometimes, and at the end, we always make it up. And that's the main thing about other families like that's the main thing people should always realize that no matter what happens at the end of the day no matter how many fights arguments and so and so <clears throat> sorry at the end of the day you just gotta remember that you guys are a family you all the three of you four or five or whatever no matter how many are there you all you all have a bond each you are you all have a bond with each other y'all blood so exactly and but the thing is there are more than different families there's the real family but then there's like family where you don't expect them like it's like your friends and so but at the end of the day no matter how many times you met them and so and so they're like your blood so they can you can always rely on them and so and so but then you got some fake families like they said they're there for you, but then they're really not. So those you gotta watch out for, cause at the end of the day, sometimes you gotta watch yourself, but it's like this. If you don't have genuine people who are around you, like genuine loving people around you, don't hang around them. You can't call them family or so, cause they're not that. They're not genuine, they're not love. They will stab you in the back and all that. So that's the type of people you gotta watch out for. But yet, but then you gotta realize that sometimes even if you are even if you even if they are generous and so you never know. You're always gonna have that suspicious that that little thing like at the back of your head thinking, are they gonna stab me in the back and so and so? Are they really genuine and so and so? So it's like this. it's like two things. You can you can still trust them, but you gotta watch yourself because you know you never know if you trust them a little bit too much. That you give them too much information and then they try to use that against you for something that's harmful and so. So always gotta watch your back for that. And, and I like what my and it's like this. My mom told me to be something positive about it, but it's like this. I told her yes, it's gonna be positive and such, no doubt. But it's like this. You gotta know there's some families out there that are genuine, but there's some that are just straight up evil, hateful and so and so. So. You never know which family mem you never know which family there is. Like I said, for my f like, to be honest, I got like two families, right? My Jamaican family, of course, my like real family and real family, and then my Haitian church family. But the thing is, I don't even say, it. yeah, I know they're Haitian and all, but it's like this with the way how I, they showed me love and so, and I showed it back to them. I don't even call it Haitian church family. I just say my church family. That just shows you. And the thing is. Cause it's like this. From when I, when they celebrated my Jamaican Independence Day from last year or so, yeah. The thing is, yes, it was in September, but it didn't. To be honest, it doesn't even matter. I know it was August six that Jamaica has their Independence Day. Trust me, we all Jamaicans know that. But thing is, it don't even matter to me. The fact that they actually wanted, the fact that they celebrated my country's Independence Day, that's just. That just made me feel glad. That just made me feel happy, loved, and all that. Cause, cause when I celebrated their 
check their flag day and so from last year I just felt I didn't say I didn't feel like I they owe me a favor. No, I didn't feel like that. If they wanted, I asked them if they wanted to do it, and if they didn't want to do it, fine. If they did, I would act. I would love it. Either way, cause it's like this. Either way, I'm not. It's like I'm demanding or anything, but I just feel like if I just feel like it would do me a. It would. I would love to see if you guys would do it, and they did. If you all saw it on my Instagram. They they actually some of them they actually wore my Jamaican clothes, but that just shows you that there's you can always find love and such not only from your real family but other people too, and then you can consider them your family because if they're showing you love, support, genu like genuine love and so, then you can call them like your second family or and so, you say like your family away from family you can say, but it's like this at the end of the day. Always is like this. I like I did a video on good versus evil, but you can go check that out. But it's like this. At the end of the day, always look out for the good, honest people, and so, cause those are the type, those are the type of people that you want to stick with, that got your back, and you like you got their backs, and they got you throughout the entire, th throughout your life, and so, and there's two, but then the evil ones. It's like this. They say they're like they say that they're family, but at the end of the day, they're not. They're really not. Like they just they just use you. So you gotta watch out for people like them. Like for me personally, I always gotta watch out because you never know who's who's the kind ones, like the kind and genuine ones, and who are the evil ones. Like try to use you. Like who are the snakes in the grass, and so you can say. But at the end of the day, it's like this. Always watch. Always try to find people with positive energy, like positive vibes. Don't hang around no negative, no negativity. Point blank, period. But that's the end of the video, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, cause I want to see your. I want to hear your guys' honest opinion about different types of families. Cause at the end of the day, a fa if a family that loves each other, like loves each other, one another, and so no matter what type it is, that's the family. That's the family that's always gonna stay together forever. But like I said, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Without further ado, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. It's roll to a hundred subscribers. Please guys, right now I'm at 67. I want to see if I can reach up to 100 by this year. Like I said, Benny Boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.